<laughs> cool shirt. So, right away, I want to start with Barry Allen seems to be a man of a lot of women in his life. <laughs> yeah, for someone that actually can't actually lock down a girl, yeah, he does seem to have... So maybe you can weigh in on the different women and how they're going to interact with him this season. Yeah, well, I don't know if Iris is going to know about Barry's feelings anytime soon. She's with Eddie right now, and it seems like that relationship is developing and going further, and that's not something Barry's going to get in the middle of. Um, and I don't think he's putting like love at the top of his priority list because he feels this responsibility now to use his powers to protect the city and to try to get his dad out of prison in, which, in whatever way the powers could possibly help. Um, and as far as Felicity, she's going to be in episode four. Um, and it's really fun and cute and similar to what we had on Arrow. Um, and there's a lot more of it. Um, but I don't think that's really going to go too much further right now because I, Barry's in love with Iris, but like I said, that can't happen either. So I don't think love is really going to be something that's... I think it's mostly just haunting him. Can you talk about working with John Wesley's show and then the relationship between Barry and his dad? Yeah. The scene I shot with John in the pilot was my favorite to shoot. It's, I mean, it's obviously very emotional. Um, and a lot, some of the dialogue actually, I got to surprise John on the day. He didn't know I was going to say some of it. And it was given to me by Andrew Kreisberg on the day, and which really made it more organic and, and fun and, and, and raw. So I loved it. And he's just been the nice. He's the nicest guy in the world. And do, we're both from Norfolk, Virginia. We're both born in Norfolk, Virginia, which is crazy. Um, and he's just been helpful and just excited for me. And he's just. He couldn't be nicer, so it's great. We haven't really got into it yet. I mean, he or I think our experiences are going to be really different. So I don't. He hasn't really given me too much advice, but he's he's definitely there for me. I think if I ever needed any, he would willingly give it. Well, can you talk about Barry having multiple father figures in this show in general? Yeah, it's. I mean, Henry's been locked away for 14 years, and I think he's probably Barry's visit him, visited him probably on a weekly basis. I would imagine at least. Um, so, I mean, Henry hasn't been able to provide much to the relationship, but Joe's been pretty incredible to him over the years, and now that Barry has these powers, Joe's kind of, they're kind of butting heads because Joe's trying to keep them safe, um, but Barry wants to keep the city safe, and those two things don't go hand in hand. Um, yeah, but I think he's got a, good, a great relationship with both, both of them, as much as, as good as it could possibly be with the past that he has. How much do you enjoy playing what certainly seems to be a like brighter, more optimistic, happier superhero than I think a lot of people maybe are used to seeing I in think, live action? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's the only reason I'm playing the role. I think if it was a darker show, they, I wouldn't need me. So um, I'm loving it. It's, it's, like, it's the only reason I have a job. So I'm having more fun than I've ever had, and I, hopefully that comes through. Because, yeah. I mean, we're, we literally are just, we love it. We love each other. I think it makes the chemistry on screen better, and it's just the dialogue's hilarious, and the action's incredible. So it couldn't get any better than this. So I'm gonna pinch myself probably every day for the next hopefully years. So you're saying you're a brighter, more optimistic person? Yeah. I, yeah. Exactly. Yeah.